Looking at this new batch of techno-headed children is both disappointing and confusing. How can someone the same age as you were when you were a kid manage to contain so much energy? How can they sit down for such long hours playing those silly games? How can they suppress the urge to climb trees, to scale the house walls, to run the perimeter of the lawn, to dance around the family dog? Certain children just don't seem to have the urge to do much of anything. I know my little brother has been mentally and physically sucked into the microcosmic world of Xbox 360. He could play forever, whereas I can barely stand to watch the gameplay for more than 10 minutes. Never mind all day. So what is this doing to the young generation before us? I think it is altering for the worse their ability to create and imagine on their own. Our modern lives seem dependent upon technology. Like when I wrote this speech, I was depending on a computer to type out these words and then the printer to print these words. I was there's just no handwriting involved. So how are children ever going to learn the basics? It seems more important today to learn how to type than it is how to write. And trust me, I have seen children in my little brother's grade and their handwriting is seriously lacking attention. And books are becoming nuisances. Why should a student read the book when they can just go online and read shorter in-depth summaries? Why should a student go to the library when there is a computer full of potentially unreliable information in their very own house? I know countless amounts of people who don't even read school assigned books anymore. Sure, they might be busy, but so are other kids who are reading the school books. So if we can manage to skate through school using spark notes and wiki summaries as a crutch, why should anyone, say, read the newspaper? Why should anyone break down a poem on their own? Why should someone challenge their critical thinking skills when someone on the internet already has for them? It's a sad fact that most students I talk to openly admit to not reading school books. They just go online, print something out, and somehow manage to pull off a good grade. Who can blame a student for taking the easy way out? Balancing school, work, life, maybe a sport or two is hard to do, if sometimes the easy way is not always the right way. What if somebody asks a student a question about a chapter in a book that they failed to read the summary for? What if they needed a quote? What if they had to come up with their own idea or opinion or hypothesis? So what has this world come to? Where is the creativity, the individuality, the hard work pays off attitude? Is it gone? Modern media has told us not to think for ourselves. No creativity, no out-of-the-box thinking. Just sit down, turn on the news, and listen to every word the person is saying. Because if you don't believe it, you're either wrong or radical. Take, for example, when Georgia attacked Russia, but our media said Russia invaded Georgia. Did anybody challenge that? Did anyone question why the tanks, the news reporters were filming and calling Russian had Georgian emblems and symbols? Modern media is affecting new generations, turning them from bright-eyed possible scholars into couch-mongering lazy gamers. Commercials tell children what they want to buy. Reporters tell us what to believe. Sitcoms and TV series degrade our minds specifically the sexually explicit and or violent ones. And computers create a wide variety of possible problems. So what it all boils down to is one simple thing. We need to stop depending on technology like we do. Read a book, write by hand, just shut down. Thank you. Great. Great. I used to teach this.
So are all of us. Excellent. 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 Good command of your Excellent job, Melody. Absolutely excellent. I want to be here. Marvelous. Marvelous. Have a good afternoon. Have a good work. I want my 80-year-old figure there.